There was a song that came out in the 1970s, which I believe is still known by many people to this day. And that song is entitled, Lean On Me. And I remember that song, especially at this time, because I believe that the song, in a very simple way, speaks to us about the Paschal mystery. The lyrics of the song goes like this. Sometimes in our life, we all have pain, we all have sorrow, but if we are wise, then we will know that there's a tomorrow. We have just gone through Lent, a season reminding us of the pain and the sorrow that Jesus experienced. And now we are in the season of Easter, a season of hope, a season that tells us that despite the darkness, there is light, that despite the despair, there is always hope, and there is tomorrow. And then the song goes on to continue in the refrain. Lean on me. When you're not strong, I'll be your strength. I'll help you carry on. And I find that refrain of the song very meaningful, especially today, as we read the gospel. In our gospel, after Mary Magdalene recognized Jesus Christ, Christ told her, Go to my brothers and tell them that I am going to my Father. In other words, he was telling them, Go to them and announce that I am alive. The body is not there anymore because it was not stolen, but because I am alive. He was giving, he wanted to give the disciples encouragement especially at that time that they were full of fear, especially at that time when they were in despair, they were hopeless. They needed encouragement. And that was the responsibility given to Mary Magdalene. Encourage them. Tell them that I am alive, that I have risen again. The season of Easter and the resurrection of Easter is not only about us receiving hope, but it is also about us being given a responsibility. In the same way that Mary Magdalene was given that responsibility, we all have a responsibility to encourage everyone. And how do we do that? By telling them that Jesus is alive that Jesus has risen and he is truly risen in our life and there are many many ways that we can do that in our life by being with a person who is experiencing some difficulty in his life by accompanying a person who seems to be lost or confused in his faith or by simply being with a person who has nothing at all in this life. In those ways, we can encourage them and we can tell them that truly Jesus is alive.